The next option in our keyframe assistant menu is sequence layers. Um, we're gonna use our decomposed text panel from our top After Effects plugins video. And we're going to add a little bit of animation here just so we can give an example of what this looks like. So we're gonna go over the course of 12 frames. We're gonna add an end keyframe and we're gonna have this kind of pop into place. We're also gonna hit Shift T to bring up our position property as well. And we're gonna have this slide from the bottom and fade in. That's pretty cool animation as it is already. Um, but to make it even better, we're going to click our layer here. We're gonna go to our decompose text panel and just click decompose into characters and decompose. What this does is create a different layer, um, keeping all those keyframes for each one of the letters in your text layer. And what we can do to show the sequence layers feature is select our top layer and our bottom layer. We're gonna hit option right bracket to trim it to one frame. And then we're gonna right click, go to keyframe assistant, sequence layers, and we're just gonna hit okay. And what this does is creates an offset animation. Um, so the beginning and end of your animation have different starting points. And if we hit end on our keyboard and option right bracket again, that extends our text layers all the way back to the end. And what we've done is we've offset the starting position of all of our keyframes. So now we have a much more interesting and dynamic animation than we had to start with.